Dearly beloved, we're gathered together here in the sight of God and this company of family and friends to join this man and this woman in holy matrimony. Since marriage is a lifetime commitment and includes tremendous responsibility, it's not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, discreetly, advisedly, soberly, and in the fear of the Lord. It's into this holy union that Joel and Olivia have come now to be joined. Take me where the sun is shining Watch the mist roll down the mountain The place we can go Olivia Alice Winter, my love, my home, my future. Here we are on this perfect day. It seems like yesterday when you caught my eye and captivated my heart with those hazel, hazel eyes. From then to now, it's been the greatest adventure of my life. Our story has been blessed from the beginning from the moment God revealed to me that you would be my wife to this very day. God has been the center and focus of our relationship. To see you go after God with your whole heart has built my faith in God. I have been so blessed by you. Thank you. The way your hair falls on your cheek me weak and love I've never known. Joel, today I stand before you overwhelmed with joy that we finally are here. You are the man of my dreams. Over the years, you have gained several titles. A brother, Uncle Fuzzy, and the love of my life, just to name a few. Today, you gain a new title as my husband. I promise to support you, selflessly love you, and encourage you honor and respect you as my husband, to cherish and continually pursue your heart, to be your safe place, and to give you room to grow and challenge yourself. Most importantly, I promise to not take all that you do for me and for us for granted. Joel, I love you so much, and I am honored to build this life with you as we create memories for a lifetime. Love your wife. And make it real. of marriage was established by God in creation. The union of man and woman in heart, body, and mind is intended by God for their mutual joy, for the help and comfort given to one another in prosperity and adversity. And when it's God's will for the procreation of children and their nurture in the knowledge and love of the Lord. Corinthians says that love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed, I thee wed. It is a token of my love for you. It is a token of my love for you. And a token of my faith. I give it as a token of my faith. I believe with all my heart that this is forever. I believe with all of my heart that this is forever. It is my love and my faith. It's my love and my faith. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of His Son, Jesus, and by the power of the Holy Spirit of God, I now pronounce you one together. You may kiss the bride.
guys make such a great team, and you inspire and push each other to be the best that you can be. You guys are stronger together, and we've gotten to see that over the years. Take a second and look around you at everyone in the room. Everyone is here to celebrate you, and to love you, and support you, and just celebrate what the Lord has brought together. We are all here to love and support you, and now as husband and wife, and now as you are starting your own family. Down the road, when we're both settling down and starting families, we'll move close together again, because the only thing better than a friendship that lasts a lifetime, Fuzz, is one that lasts generations. you will not be a winter by name, you will always be a winter girl, and we are proud to be your sisters and stand alongside you on this very special day. So, we love you guys, we're proud of you, and we're so excited for all that the future holds. So, everyone please raise your glass as we make a toast to the new Mr. and Mrs. Byram. Yeah.